Gladson and welcome back to my channel Joe's Learning. Today I am going to show you some multiplication tricks in respect with the number 11. So let's get started. First let us look at this example which is 43 multiplied by 11. So to find the product we must first look at the last digit. The last digit being 3, we must write 3 as the last digit of our product. Now to find the next digits of our product, we must add 4 plus 3. So 4 plus 3 equals 7. So we should write down 7 as the next digit of our product. Now, next we must look at the first digit, which is 4, and write down as the next digit of our product. So, 43 multiplied by 11 equals 473. Now, let us move on to this example, which is 326 multiplied by 11. So, first we must look at the last digit, which is 6. So, we write down 6 as the last digit of our product. Then, to find the next digit of our product, we must add 6 and uh, 2, which is 8. So we will write down 8 as the next digit of our product. Now to find the next digit, we must again add 2 plus 3. So 2 plus 3 equals 5. So we will write down 5 as the next digit of our product. Now we must look at the first digit, which is 3. So we will write down 3 as the first digit of our product. So 326 multiplied by 11 equals 3586. Now let us move on to this example which is 4276 multiplied by 11. So first we look at the last digit of the number which is 6. So we will write 6 as the last digit of our product. Now to find the next digit of our product we must add 6 and 7. So 6 plus 7 equals 30. But as you are supposed to write only one digit, we will carry over that one to the next digit, which is 2. And so we will only write 3. Now to find the next digit, we should add 7 and 2. So 7 plus 2 equals 9. And 9 plus 1 equals 10. But as you are supposed to write only one digit, we will carry over that one to the next digit, which is 4, and only write 0. Now to find the next digit, we will add 2 and 4. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. 6 plus 1 equals 7. So we will write down 7 as the next digit of our product. Now we will look at the digit in the first place, which is 4. So, we will write 4 as the first digit of the product. So, 4276 multiplied by 11 equals 47036. Now, let us move on to this example which is 5642 multiplied by 11. So, first we should take a look at the last digit of the number which is 2. So, we will write down 2 as the last digit of our product. Now, to find the next digit of our product, we must add 2 and 4. So, 2 plus 4 equals 6. So, we will write down 6 as the next digit of our product. Now, to find the next digit of our product, we must add 4 and 6. So, 4 plus 6 equals 10. But as we are supposed to write only one digit, we will carry over that one to the next digit, which is 5. And so, we will only write 0. Now, to find the next digit, we must add 6 plus 5. So, 6 plus 5 equals 11. 11 plus 1 equals 12. But as you are supposed to write only one digit, we will carry over the 1 to the next digit, which is 5. So, now we we'll take a look at the first digit, which is 5. So, 5 plus 1 equals 6. So, we we'll write down 6 as the first digit of our product. So, 5 
5,642 multiplied by 11 equals 62,062. So in this way, we can easily multiply any number with 11 in a quick way. Now let us move on to this multiplication trick. So first let us find the product of these two numbers which are 11 multiplied by 11. So in this case, we must first find out the number of digits in both of the numbers. So in this case, the number of digits are 2. So we have to keep on increasing till we reach the number 2 and then start decreasing till we reach number 1. And in that same way, we must find the product of the rest of the examples. Now let us move on to this example, which is 111 multiplied by 111. So we have to first find out the number of digits. So in this case, there are three digits in both of the numbers. So we have to keep on increasing till we reach number 3. And then start decreasing till we reach number 1. Now let us move on to this example which is 1111 multiplied by 1111. So first we have to find out the number of digits. So in this case, the number of digits is 4 as there are 4 digits in both of these numbers. So we have to keep on increasing till we reach number 4. And then start decreasing till we reach number 1. So now let us move on to this example which is 111 multiplied by 1111. So in this case the number of digits are unequal. So what should we do? Well, it is really simple. We should first check in these two numbers which number has the smallest number of digits. As this number has 3 digits and this number has 4 digits, this will be the smallest number. So, we have to keep on increasing till we reach number 3. And then we need to take the difference of the number of digits of both of these numbers. So, 4 minus 3 equals 1. So, we have to write the last digit one more time. And then go on decreasing till we reach 1. Now let us move on to this example which is 1111 multiplied by 11111. So first we have to find out the number of digits of both of the numbers. So in this number there is only 4 digits while in this number there are 5 digits. So the smallest number of digits is 4. So we have to keep on increasing till we reach number 4. And then we need to find the difference of both of these numbers. So 5 minus 4 equals 1. So we have to write down the last digit for one more time. And then go on decreasing till we reach 1. Now let us move on to this example which is 1,11,111 multiplied by 111. So first we have to find out the number of digits of both of these numbers. So in this number, there are 6 digits, while in this number, there are only 3. So the smallest number of digits is in this number, 3. So we have to keep on increasing till we reach the number 3. Now we need to take the difference of both of these numbers. So 6 minus 3 equals 3. So we must try down the last digit of this 3, 3 more times. So, and then we will keep on decreasing till we reach number 1. So, using these multiplication tricks, we can find the product of these types of numbers. I hope you understood this topic. If you did subscribe to my channel, please subscribe now. And also enable the bell icon to get notifications on all my latest videos. Bye friends! Thank you for watching! And stay tuned for more amazing and interesting videos in Joe's Learning.